Coming up on the Globe Sports Corner, Tanner Camp talks with Sydney Stein about going from basketball to softball. The softball team welcomes a new coach to their program. And Coach Weldon Ryder gives us a look at the baseball team and their season. All that plus more here on the Globe Sports Corner. Welcome to another edition to the Globe Sports Corner. We start today with Tanner Camp, who sits down with Sydney Stein about wrapping up her basketball career and, and starting her final season with softball. Here on the Globe Sports Corner, my name is Tanner Camp. To my left, I'm with senior basketball and softball player Sydney Stein. Sydney, thank you so much for coming down to the studio. Thank you for having me. So, Sid, you finished your basketball career this past Saturday at Spring Arbor University. What was going through your head when the final buzzer sounded and your basketball career was officially over? Um, it's really hit me hard. Like I said, the only thing I've really known the past 16 years is basketball, and just watching it really come to an end and finally be done, like competing in like a real game, real atmosphere, the crowd, your friends, your teammates, um, it's hard, but I think it's really made me who I am today, and um, I'll definitely cherish all the moments I had, and the ups and downs that basketball brings you, just stuff that you can't really get anywhere else in everyday life, and I, it's hard, but better things are to come. Sid, you've had to deal with a lot of injuries, both in basketball and in softball. How have you been able to fight those injuries and still be able to compete in both sports? Um, it's really interesting. I've had knee problems ever since I was in sixth grade. Um, my left knee, honestly, I think it just holds on because it knows how much I love sports in general. But um, just knowing that like, it's bigger than myself and I would do absolutely anything for like the girls on my team, the past girls I've been teammates with, um, Getting surgery, not getting surgery, just pushing through whatever it is to be able to compete with anyone that is on my team because we're going for the same thing. So after basketball, now you're transitioning over into softball for your final season. What are you most looking forward to in your last season as a Goshen College Maple Leaf? Yeah, that's one thing that I really look back on now is just realizing that I still have one more sport to do as a Goshen Maple Leaf. And um, I'm really excited to start with the softball team. I haven't really been able to be around them because of the investment with my basketball girls, but um, I guess just competing with them, being on a different atmosphere with different girls, playing a different sport that I've also played for probably longer than basketball, um, just really getting to know them and working and getting better. And say so we look forward to uh, your last season as a Maple Leaf for softball. Say so thank you so much again for joining us today. Thank you for having me. When we come back, William Troyer will have more on the softball team and their new coach. That's coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real-world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. The Goshen College softball team is now officially in season, and now they welcome back Julia Claire Plesberg, the new head coach for the team. Let's look back at how she came to Goshen and her goals for the team. Julia Clark Plesbert was named head coach of the Goshen College softball team Monday, January 7th, earlier this year. Plesbert is the eighth softball coach in program history. Here's Plesbert on her road to Goshen College. I believe God had a plan for me. Uh, ever since I was younger, I, softball was always a passion for me. I uh, played at Indiana Tech and felt a calling to keep coaching. That's where I found myself at Oklahoma Wesleyan University. Uh, three years there as an assistant and felt a need to come home and that's when I found Ancilla College and then a miracle happened and Goshen College popped up and I knew it was an opportunity I couldn't pass by. Plesbert had this to say about her team. Words can't describe how great this team is. Um, they've opened up their arms to me. Uh, we've gotten right down to practice and it feels like we've been together the whole year when it's really only been, like you said, five, six weeks. So I couldn't have asked for a better situation and a better team to come right in in January. The softball team has high expectations for this season and are looking forward to enter the heart of their schedule. 
Um, our goals in general are just to play our game that we know how to play. There's a lot of talent on the team, um, a lot of freshmen that are, are, we're excited to see play, um, and a lot of senior seniority on the team that will prove that Goshen softball is a force to be reckoned with. Um, and just coming into season, there's a lot of potential, and I'm excited to see what we're going to do. Next up for the softball team, they travel to Southern California, kicking off 14 straight games away from home. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer. The team is currently 1-3 and three to start the season, as they will be in California on February 23rd to take on Vanguard University. When we come back, Tanner Camp will be with Coach Wellenreiter to talk about the baseball team and their season. That all starts here on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College, everyone's at home here. Students from around the world and down the street find inspiration and lifelong friends in our unique supportive community, right here in Northern Indiana. Cutting edge academics, real world learning and small personalized classes make the difference. All surrounded by world class culture and championship sports. Most importantly, it all leads to a record of amazing outcomes in diverse fields of study. From pre-med to social work, broadcasting to accounting, schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Back here on the Globe Sports Corner, I am now with Coach Doug Willing, writer, the assistant coach for the Goshen College baseball team. Coach, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So you guys are now officially in season with the baseball team. What have the teams been doing uh, to prepare for the season? Well, it's a long time getting to the start of the season. We uh, had our fall season where we went for about six weeks in the fall on the field. Uh, we came back from uh, fall break and we put the kids in groups and our pitchers are doing a lot of uh, strength training and uh, weighted ball training. Our positional players do uh, hitting groups and weight training. Uh, and then we started official practice when we came back from Christmas break. Uh, we've been hitting here since uh, January the 10th. So this is your fifth season with the Maple Leafs. Uh, how is this team different from previous teams in the past? Every team's different from year to year. This one, uh, we have a lot of new people this year. We've uh, turned our team over the last couple of years. So we have a lot of new faces and a lot of people to work in and uh, see how things are going to mesh this year. A lot of new faces. And then finally, going forward through the season, what are you most looking forward to uh, throughout this season? Well, hopefully we want to play our best ball at the end of the year in May in the conference tournament. We want to qualify for the conference tournament. We've done that the last three years, fortunately. And uh, we want to make that something that is uh, every year thing. Uh, we've pushed that corner pass now, and we want to be there. Um, we want to be playing on May 6th for the right to go to the NAI tournament. Uh, that's our goal. We want to be playing our best baseball at the end of the season, and it's a long way to get there. We've got 55 games to get there, and it's a long learning season. There'll be ups and downs, but you got to keep the, keep the faith and keep the road, and hopefully when it comes May and Commerce Tournament time, that's when we're set to play our best baseball of the year, hopefully. And we look forward to watching the baseball team over the season. Coach, thank you so much again for coming down to the studio. All right, thank you for having me. When we come back, Ben Cotton will give you some highlights from this past weekend. That's coming up here on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our Environmental Learning Center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. Let's look back at the men's and women's basketball teams as they compete in their final games at Spring Garber University. Allison Priggy knocks down a top of the key three. And as Grayson Cockerham drives the rim, she finds an open Denise Chapman for a lay-in. Senior Haley Archibald finds freshman Grayson Cockerham for an open three-pointer. Then we have a senior to senior action as Haley Archibald finds senior Sydney Stein for the and one. And for the men, Demarcus Tucky knocks down the free throw. And Stucky's also in the action as he finds the open shooter for three. Yeah. 
And for the men, a reverse layup for DeMarcus Tucky was good. And that wraps up this episode of the Sports Corner. Be sure to tune in again for more for Goshen College Maple Leafs. We'll see you next time on the Glow Sports Corner.